Hello, YouTube. Happy Friday, Friday. Yeah. Big Poppy coming at ya. I'm cooking him a couple of couple of pieces of catfish. Yeah. How many of y'all recycle your fish grease? Probably not much not many of y'all. I've been watching and looking. Some of y'all got some funny ways. Yeah. But I don't like real old fish grease, but I'll use it at least twice. Maybe sometimes three times. Ain't nobody got sick or went to the hospital yet. But anyway, I digress. In this bowl, I got five catfish fillets that I've been letting sit and marinate in some uh, mustard. Shout out to my man G. Rich and my friend Nathan Kitchen. His daddy used to use that mustard. That's the first time I seen it. Then G. Rich come back with it. Hey, dang, I remember Mr. Kitchen used to do that. Yeah. He used to put that mustard on his fish. I don't know if he did it on chicken or not. I know G. Rich do. And it's not a bad thing. Not bad at all. Just gonna put put me a little cornmeal on here. I, like I said, I got some mustard. I got a little bit of Old Bay salt and pepper. That's it. And this is self-rising cornmeal. You can see because the flour in it is just floating everywhere. It's putting dust up everywhere. Yeah. It's all that darn flour in it. But it's okay. I normally use uh, the uh, Louisiana fish fry. But I was trying to do, what, do with what I have in the house. Let me get out of that. Get over here. That's a cloud of dust. You're going to be thinking high whole silver. Be looking for Tonto in the long range in a minute. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in there. Yeah. We'll do two the first time. Then we'll do three to next. How about that? Because I got five. I'm going to eat two and a half. Yeah, we're going to let that fry up. Happy Friday. Fish fry. How about saying that? About five or six times. Fry. Happy Friday fish fry. Yeah. My boy G. Rich got me on this mustard kick. I did some ribs. Some fried ribs not too long ago. With the mustard. Boy, they sure was good. I tell you. Yeah, some people can come up with some good ideas. Of course, like I said, I I seen the one with the fish before, but I had never seen nobody put no mustard on the ribs in the chicken before. That's pretty cool. Yep, but I digress. Yeah, boy. That 
miss the kitchen with some else. <clears throat> we sit down there and eat fish, peel potatoes, me, him, and George, and Nathan sometimes when he come through. Slick being around down there that much. That's James the Heat Kinchin. Yeah, that's his son. He come by here once in a while back then. But he was more tied to the gym. Yeah. Had a good boxing career. It's a lot of folk come out of that little town. Yeah. We done lost some this year, some of the talent. Well, between last year and this year. Yep. Some of them I knew and some of them I should have known. But I didn't. Just sitting here remembering some of his old friends. Mm -hmm. Fish fries, barbecues, yeah, chili. You know, we used to get together. And we'd have soul food cook-offs. Well, not cook-offs, but those guys, we'd get together and somebody would cook a whole bunch of pork chop. You know, mashed potatoes, pig feet, chitlins. Oh, yeah. We'd be drunk as a skunk eating pig, pig feet. <laughs> oh, Lord, you know. All that alcohol and pig feet. And chitlins. Yep. Ain't no shame in my game. Yeah, boy. But anyway, we're going to let that cook up. We'll get back with you. All right, fam. Now it is Big Papa's fried fish. Yeah, I got me some, I got about two peppers in my little jar right there. I'm going to fish them out in a minute. I'm going to eat some pickled peppers this, with this. So have me some fish and bread. That's what I see, fish and bread. All right. It ain't how you look in the kitchen. It's how you cook in the kitchen. You ain't got to look good to cook good. So get on in that kitchen and cook you up something good to eat. Big Poppy out. <laughs>